Warning, this is a pest control video showing vermin being controlled in a humane manner here in the UK. If you are not comfortable watching this content, please switch off now. You have been warned. If you are comfortable watching these and similar videos and are interested in grey squirrel control, then please join the UK and Ireland squirrels, the grey area on Facebook. Thank you. This first clip is in the owner's orchard garden on a campsite where we shoot. Now the campsite's closed, we can get rid of the greys on there as well. Sadly, this is the only one I got. It was very quiet here, so I decided to move closer to home and go to a large garden permission that I shoot on. And here I am at the garden permission. This is the first one of three that go in 40 minutes. This one wasn't too happy about seeing his mate on the ground, so I just had to take my time with this shot. I caught a lot of footage out of this clip, as I spent a lot of time mooching about in the ground in the undergrowth. And I wasn't sure it was actually going to go on at the feeder. Right, so we're two days later and back onto one of my farm perms. This one moves its head just as I pull the trigger, but there's another one in the tree which comes down less than a minute later. So after I'd got the second one, I decided to break cover and check on them both, and had both expired. Frustratingly, this one was having a good mooch about in the undergrowth, and I was tempted to pull the trigger on a couple of occasions, but I just decided to wait. It's now four days later and I'm back on the campsite perm and I'm hoping for better things seeing as the feed was empty when I got there and I had to put seven litres in. As you can see the footage is a little bit grainy on 13 times magnification. Been here since um, about ten past seven this morning. It was still dark when I got here a little bit. Got set up. Um, I got my first two about ten minutes after I sat down. Virtually one after the other one. 
and since then it's been very very quiet nothing at all a few pheasants kicking about some small birds but basically that's about it um, I'm using the R10 SE unfortunately with this having the laminate stock on it doesn't hold very well in the trigger sticks in the clamp the saddle clamp so what I've had to do is strap it on so it doesn't move anymore the last twice I've been out with this unfortunately before I strapped it up um, it fell out twice and I've had to re-zero the part after I've done that so that's what I've done I've just put a strap all the way around it underneath the saddle clamp and that's sorted it it just stays nice and steady now and that is the view to the fader in the distance as you can see there's a G on there now or you might be able to see Well, this is the view from the hide straight through the fader. We've got a lovely gap just through the trees. Oh, we've even got a G on the fader for you as well. Lovely. As you can see, the tree line in front breaks up the view to where we'll hide from the feeder just nicely. Gives us a lot more natural camouflage. So for the last two, it's back in my garden perm for a short afternoon session. If you enjoyed watching these videos, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you later.